How to achieve financial independence. Number 1. Establish life goals. How do you define financial independence? Everyone wants it in general, but that's a very broad objective. You must be precise with regards to sums and due dates. The possibility of completing your goals increases with your level of experience. Put these three goals in writing. 1. The requirements of your lifestyle. 2. The amount that needs be in your bank account. And 3. The age at which you have saved that amount. Establish financial mileposts at regular intervals between the two dates as you work your way backward from your deadline age to your present age. Put the target sheet at the front of your financial binder and be sure to write down all amounts and deadlines precisely. Number 2. Establish a monthly budget. The easiest method to ensure that all bills are paid and savings are progressing as planned is to create a monthly household budget and adhere to it. Additionally, having a schedule helps you stay committed to your objectives and overcome the urge to overspend. Number 3. Fully repay credit cards. Wealth building is hampered by high interest consumer borrowing like credit cards. Make it a point to settle the bill in full each month. Paying off student debts, mortgages, and other similar loans is not urgent because their interest rates are often significantly lower. Even yet, Timely repayment of these loans with lower interest rates is crucial because it improves your credit standing. Number 4. Establish automatic savings. First pay yourself. Enroll in the retirement program offered by your workplace, and take use of any matching contribution benefits, basically free money, to the fullest. It's a good idea to set up automatic contributions to a brokerage account or a similar account as well as withdrawals into an emergency fund that can be used for unforeseen needs. The money for your retirement and emergency funds should ideally be taken out of your account on the same day that you get paid, so it never even crosses your hands. Remember that your particular situation will determine how much money is appropriate to save for an emergency fund. Additionally, you shouldn't use a tax-advantaged retirement plan as your sole source of emergency funds because there are restrictions on how you can access your funds in the event of an emergency. Number 5. Start making investments. Bear markets in the stock market might make individuals doubt the value of investing, but historically there hasn't been a better method to increase your wealth. Your money will increase enormously if you rely only on compound interest, but it will take a long time to see real progress. But keep in mind that it would be a mistake for anyone to try the type of stock selecting that has made billionaires like Warren Buffett famous, aside from professional investors. Instead, construct a reasonable portfolio using an online brokerage account that enables you to learn how to invest and automatically add to it on a weekly or monthly basis. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos.